Today we're amazed and we're looking at my resting metabolic rate. So a resting metabolic rate is the amount of calories you burn throughout the course of a day when perfectly still. No activity whatsoever. I'm gonna put a mask on, I'm gonna lay down, there's going to be no movement, and it's going to be looking at the calories that I would need just to maintain my body tissue and organs. And it's also gonna be looking at the exact breakdown of my fuel source. Am I primarily burning carbs or am I primarily burning fat? When we initially shot this video, we were doing our DEXA and our resting metabolic rate at Maze, but I realized there was just so much information coming from both of these tests that I want to separate it into two separate videos. So that's the reason for this little segue because today we're only going to be talking about my rest of many metabolic rate. My name's Jacob Zemer and I've helped thousands of people get in the best shape of their life. There are plenty of apps out there that focus on your training or your nutrition or even your health. However, very few apps address all three aspects. And in order to get in the best shape, you must address all of them. For that reason, my app has an educational program that will teach you about preventative health, blood work, cardiovascular activity, along with providing custom training for as many days as you can commit to and the exact gym equipment you have available. Also, you will have a tailored nutrition plan based on your unique physiology. I wanted something that everyone could afford. All of this is available for $1 a day on my website. Right now, if you click the link in bio under app, there's a seven day free trial. I'm looking forward to helping you change your life. Here's our exercise lab. Um, as you can see, it's our treadmill and our bike for the VO2 max testing. Yep. Um, and then our bed for the RMR testing, which is the test you're gonna be doing today. The toughest test yet, I'm gonna have to stay off my phone and do nothing for 15 minutes. But seriously, what's nice is they have the treadmill and then they have the bike. I know they're thinking about getting another bike as well. It's a little bit more for like you hardcore cyclists. But for somebody who's a little bit more sedentary, this is probably very, very comfortable. For somebody on the extreme end who feels comfortable running, obviously that, but both of those are for the VO2 maxes. And you actually use the same mask, I believe, for the VO2 max yep, that yep. you use for the RMR. Yeah, so it's the same system. It's just obviously a different test. One, you're relaxing, enjoying yourself yeah. uh, for 20 minutes. The other, you're exerting yourself maximally, hopefully within, you know, probably anywhere between six to 15 minutes. Yeah, yeah, most of my VO2, I think my last VO2 max lasted 14 minutes, yep. and I crushed it, I crushed it. My goal this year is to get to 60. My VO2 max, stay tuned, we'll film that in February. But today, RMR mask, we'll pop all these masks on and I'll sit still for 16 fucking minutes. Essentially what we're doing here is fitting your mask. Uh, we want it as snug as possible um, to make sure that there's no leakage. Um, what we're doing during this RMR test, right, is testing your resting metabolism rate. And the way we calculate that is through your breath. Mm -hmm. So we wanna make sure there's no leakage. Um, and we also wanna be able to calculate exactly what your breath is made out of, um, you know, what chemicals are made out of um, in order to kind of calculate that score, as well as to kind of give you a really good understanding of what your diet looks like um, and what your energy expenditure at complete rest is. Now, again, the goal of this test is to make sure that you, uh, you know, expend as little energy as possible. So we're trying not to engage any of the muscles. So we're just gonna ask you obviously to stay as still as possible, um, you know, as relaxed as possible. The test will be about 15 minutes. Um, Emily and I will stay in for the first minute or two, make sure everything's running properly. That's about it. Any questions? Jake, you think you can do the 15 minutes without the phone? It's gonna be so hard. We believe. I think the, I think the VO2 max test is easier. Yeah, again, I'll joke you aside. That's not bad at all, guys. Um, if you're bothered by the mask like that, then you're just, you're not prepped to do the things you need to in period for your health. Because it's, it's much harder to not eat snacks at night or go work out than it is to do uh, wear a mask for 15 minutes. Awesome experience. I'm really excited to see what the data shows. All right, so these are the results of your test. Essentially, what we're looking at for this test, first and foremost, is your resting metabolism. Great. Right. Just to say how much energy your body uses while you're resting, right, for basic operations. Right, circulation, breathing, cell repair, etc. Yep. Um, and we measure the energy in calories, right? So the first thing we're looking at is how many calories do you Jake use while you're resting throughout so the day? So remember this, when you're dieting or you're choosing, deciding to lean bulk or any of these things, the foundation of all of it is caloric intake. And so by knowing my resting metabolic rate, I know precisely how many calories I burn doing nothing. And then for that, we can add in steps, we can add exercise, and that allows me to set a goal for my diet or for a lean bulk or any of these things. So this is like the foundation of, of what you're working with for a, a, whether you're deciding to lose fat or build muscle. Yeah, exactly what you're saying. And so 
what this tests, what we can see is there's first, based on your demographic information, your yep. height, your weight, your age, those sorts of things, there's a certain number of calories we expect you to be using yep. for your rest day. Right, that's about 2,183 calories. That's this here. So you can see it there. Exactly. And then based on what we're measuring, you're using closer to 25, 24 to 2,500, right? So Great. 2,468 calories at rest. Great. Because the number of calories you use at rest is greater than what we'd expect, it technically means you have a relatively fast metabolism. Yeah. Like you're saying, it's not necessarily intrinsically good or bad. It sort of depends on your goals. Yeah. Typically, it's easier to lose mass, right, when you're metabolism is faster. It's a good thing because most people struggle to not be overweight. So the, the better your metabolism, the more it burns. Like for most people, it's an advantage. But like to your point, like if you want to put on muscle, you have to do more work. But for most of us, we're struggling to maintain fat off. Yes. So. 100%. Great. I also will say like this resting metabolism number is dynamic, right? So it changes with time. Yeah. It's dependent on all these different Which is why I get it done on a regular basis, guys, because it really does ever change. Exactly. And the, the type of things that can affect these numbers, I mean, certain things like there's certain genetic variables, mm -hmm. right? You, you know, your certain height, your certain eye color, et cetera. There are also certain genetic features that affect your yeah. metabolism. Right, so that can impact these numbers, but things that we can manipulate a little more are things like your diet, yeah. the type of foods you're eating, how much, how often, awesome. meal times, things like that. Um, exercise, right, the type, how much and how often. Um, your body composition will affect your metabolism, right, yeah. both in terms of having more mass needs more energy, but yeah. also in terms of like how much fat versus muscle you have. Right. Uh, your hormone profile will affect your metabolism. Right, that's everything from testosterone and other sex hormones, thyroid hormones, uh, stress hormones, you know, sugar regulating hormones, things like that. Right. Um, your sleep quality and quantity will affect your resting metabolism, right? There's sort of like all these different variables that weigh into it. Yeah. Right. So how we sort of get this number will be kind of all those different factors adding up. Amazing. And we would use those different factors to potentially increase or decrease your metabolism depending on your goals. Great. The respiratory quotient tells us a little bit about the composition of your diet in terms of the macronutrients, yeah. so carbs, fats, and proteins. Yeah. Our cues closer to one typically indicate like a high carb, high sugar sort of diet. Great. Numbers closer to like 0 0.8, 0 0.85 typically indicate a more balanced diet between the macronutrients. Great. And numbers closer to 0.6 or even 0.7 are usually like a low carb, no carb style of diet. So your RQ is measuring 0.86, which is to say fairly balanced, right? A little carb leaning, the right. truth is that'll be impacted by when you recently have any sort of intake, right? Your recent diet, I mean, if you had more carbohydrates yesterday, that'll be higher. Yeah, so I will say that those numbers on this test, just so you guys probably are known a little bit more skewed, my number one goal today for me was to get my DEXA as accurate as possible, which meant that I wanted to show what my car, like my, body composition was in maintenance calories. So I actually took two weeks off my diet the past week and then I carved up for today. Uh, and that'll affect what they're showing the burns here. There's no disadvantage to burning primarily fat or carbohydrate, by the way. Um, again, like for performance purposes, carbohydrate rich diets, really good for lifestyle to look good. Burning primarily fat, really advantageous. But I had 700 grams of carbohydrates yesterday. Uh, on a normal day, I'm probably a little closer to like probably 400 grams of carbohydrates. And then most days, most of my carbohydrate source is fruit and vegetables. For the sake of this, I ate a lot of white rice because it's so digestible and then drank a ton of water. And the reason I did it again was to put as much glycogen into my muscle cell for when I got into that DEXA scan. Yeah, so exactly, so exactly like you're saying, this is sort of varied based on this intake and, and diet and yeah. things like that. Um, the last thing you look at here is the substrate percentages, right? This yeah, is what we were mentioning before, which is to yeah. say, um, this is a main reason why we have you fasting during this test. Yeah. We're trying to see that like at rest, right, once you haven't just eaten, you're getting energy from food, like where is your body pulling your energy from? Right. right. What stores of energy are you sort of pulling from to get to fuel your body? Yeah. Right. And so right now about 48% of your calories are coming from fat stores and about 52% are coming from carbohydrate stores. Right. right. And so like you said, you're about even almost like a 50-50 ratio. And again, those numbers will be impacted by when you last eat, what is your typical diet, what is your recent diet, etc. I think again, the thing to remember is with any of this stuff, it is ever changing. Like your VO2 max is ever changing. You can improve it, it can get worse. Obviously, as you continuously exercise over time, it should be improving, but also as you age, it should be uh, uh, declining. Um, and these, even these marks for me, like I get enough data, I tell people all the time, when you get data, you're gonna have more questions than answers. So like even from today, that it shows a higher ratio of carbohydrate burn and will pop up my last RMR to compare to. Uh, but that's because I know I ate a lot of extra carbohydrates yesterday. And so it, depending on what lifestyle choices you're making, this is all fluid and always ever changing. So this is why I do this stuff on repeat. I do this every year. I get an RMR test yearly. Um, I get a DEXA scan yearly. I get um, uh, VO2 max done yearly. Uh, besides for just the goal of it, but also for the data from it. I'm sure, I'm sure I did something wrong so that- you would exercise that morning, yeah. right? higher intensity exercise. So when we compare those numbers, that 37 is an anomaly. That's just not reality. Um, at, 
and what you can see here that actually in, uh, is reality is that carbohydrate fat breakdown. And typically I burn a little bit higher in the, in the fat to carb, like more fats than carbohydrates is like typical fueling. But again, for the sake of this, I took on a lot of carbohydrates because I cared more about the DEXA. But what I wanted from this RMR test for me was to know my calorie burn. And uh, it seems like what I'm gonna do with that information of those uh, approximately 2,500 calories a day being burned is once I see my DEXA results, which I'm gonna assume is gonna put me around 10% body fat, once I see those results, I'm gonna go back and do a cut for another five to seven weeks and I'm gonna be eating 2,700 calories a day. So I'm gonna be at about 200 calories above my RMR um, and between my steps and my exercise, uh, I'll probably be cutting 800 calories a day uh, deficit by doing that. So my goal is to basically lose a pound of fat every week um, for the upcoming weeks. And then by the way, so it's 8, 16, 24, 32, um, 40, 48, 56. If you think I was an 800 calorie a day deficit every day, we'd be at 5,600 calories. There's 3,500 calories in a pound. What are those extra 2,000 calories? I typically go out to dinner one night a week. So one night I'm a little bit up in calories. So I eat very, very stringently the other six days to make up for the fact that I want to be able to go out to dinner one night a week and just kind of enjoy myself. I like to go out to a nice restaurant in New York. That is it for today. I want to give a thank you to the Mays Clinic. They have both the men's health and women's health. They specialize in fertility, sexual health, and hormone replacement therapy. They are the absolute best in the tri-state area. We're at their Westchester facility here today. We had my DEXA scan, and we also did my resting metabolic rate. If you want to watch more content about longevity, concierge medicine, you can follow here. We put out a long format video each and every single week going to the grocery store, talking about nutrition, in the weight room, talking about how to properly train, how to properly do cardiovascular activity, all things that are actually gonna move the needle for your health. If you wanna learn more about the services that I offer, you can go to jacobzemer.com. I have helped thousands of people get in the best shape of life, real people with real careers. Thanks for tuning in, guys. If you like what you saw, please hit subscribe and follow along.